for Danny. I believe Ernie had some words with you Tuesday. What was said? Yeah, I was a bit, uh, a bit worried when he pulled me. I was walking into the dressing room and he uh, tapped me on the shoulder and said, could I have a word? I was like, oh, what did I do wrong? Sport played pretty well. But no, he said, um, he just asked me, asked me to be captain for the year, which obviously was uh, quite pleasing. Obviously something that after Richie leaving, I think it was quite open to a number of players in the squad. Obviously having having the armband for pretty much every game this season was quite it's quite a nice thing to be asked to do. Um, quite a proud moment because I've not really been captain or had that honour to do at any club that I've been at. Kind of been learning from people that people that I played with, especially from from Richie last year. So I think kind of now is the right time for me to kind of take that role. What type of captain do you think you'll be? Uh, everyone's asked me that. I think. Um, what you see with me on the pitch is kind of how I am off the pitch, quite laid back and not really one to shout at anyone. Um, yeah, I think what you see is what you get. I think everyone kind of is going to have to step up on the thing, on the pitch. I think we was it was pretty quiet last year. I think I'm not I'm not the most vocal on the pitch and being in the position that I play probably not going to be able to be able to get my points across all the time in central positions but I think we've got people that, that step up I think we've got a pretty good dressing room as well I think everyone's quite vocal gets along quite well so I think it's just just making sure everyone stays stays together whether it's in the changing room or team nights out I think it's just important not to not to change who I am just because I'm wearing the armband I think I've been given it for a reason um, yeah just important to keep to keep people in the changing room kind of on side or together and making sure that we all do our duties on and off the pitch How's pre-season been for you and the team? For me personally, I think I've done quite well. For, um, just for me, it's about staying, staying fit or getting quite fit. I mean, I did a lot of, lot of work um, off of pre-season, like by myself, to make sure I was ticking over. Um, helped by obviously some of the some of the young kids at Sheffield doing some one-to-ones for them, kept me fit. Um, but no, as a team, I think you read stuff on social media, and I think as you know that people are leaving. I knew people were leaving before I came out on social media. So I've always been talking to the management team, Darren, Ernie, um, about players that are going to come in. So I wasn't really worried. And I think obviously you can see by the performances that there's no need to panic. I think players have slotted in really well. There's still more players to come in. And I think as obviously part of being a captain, I think is making sure we all gel quite quite tightly. And the players that have come in have done that really well. Like really nice guys and fit in the change room really well. Looking at some of the signings other clubs have made. Are you expecting this league to be the toughest so far? Yeah, I think so. I think someone said to me the other day, I think it's five teams that have come up that got promoted, so it's going to be a little bit easier. That's not going to be the case. I think that they're, they're going to sign well. They're teams like Deal, I think they're always going to be strong. We played against them when we was in the Scaffold League. Really tough to go there most of the time. It's on a Tuesday night away. I know it's just been scheduled for, I think it's for a Saturday, but again, they're going to be strong. I think teams coming down Margate, um, Again, it's going to be really tough. Um, glad Cray, what Cray Valley are out of the league, um, but yeah, all every game is going to be tough this year, as we found out last year. We've got to be on it. We've got we've got to go on a run again, but you got to keep that run going over eight, nine, ten games to, to be competing. We always talk about promoting youth, and I want to touch on Harrison McCall because he made his full debut last game of the season. He played a part in the goal uh, which you made. Mm-hmm. Um, he's featured every pre-season game. You impressed with what you see? Yeah, hundred percent. I think again, slotted into the changing really nicely. Just goes about his business. Um, really nice, obviously, for him to play behind me at the moment, just to kind of help him. Um, him help me in some respects. R- runs around a lot. Again, very versatile. Can play left back, right back. Can play on the wings. Um, but yeah, nice. Felt really comfortable with him behind me the other night. Um, yeah, I'm sure he's going to be one of the key players this season. I think. Well. But we all know we've got five subs to make this year. So everybody in the squad has got to be at a level which, if they're not starting, they can come on and make an impact. Because I think that's where the league's going to be won or even get to the playoffs. We're going to have to have a strong strong squad. So players like Harrison that, have, that know Sheffield are going to be really important. A couple of milestones coming up for you. 150 games and also 50 goals. Um, determined to get them done early? Yeah, I think so, especially the goals. I think last year I set myself a target and obviously hampered by by the injury that I had. Um, but yeah, no, definitely the goals target is one that I want to get to, an appearance one as well. Um, it's always been a target of mine, kind of. Sheppy was where, where I've made my name kind of 
in this league and the leagues kind of above. So to do it here, um, be quite nice to reach that 150 milestone. And obviously, I want to go on to make more. I'd love to love to play as many years here as I can, whether it's captain or not as captain. But yeah, score as many goals as I can. But yeah, just contribute to the team. I love the games you and goals that you've scored so far. What's your favourite game and goal? Oh, I think we always go back to the Corinthian game where I think Jack Midson scored that last minute goal. Um, but I think just the, from last year, I think being on TV was great. But getting to that moment, I think the Murphy game away for not just not just the journey or the goal I scored, but just the group of boys that we had. Every, everything about that day was was the best day I've had in football. So yeah, the Murphy game. So you're getting married very, very soon. How's the nerves holding up? Yeah, okay. I think I finished school tomorrow, so I'll get that out of the way. Um, I think most of the fans know that obviously I'm away for the first game of the season, which isn't ideal. But being a teacher, I think there's only certain times I can obviously go and get married. And me and my partner have been together now for for over ten years. Obviously, got three children together, so it was the right time to to go and get married. So the club, I informed the club two years ago when I come back that obviously that was my intention. So tried to plan it around it, but at least I only missed one game. So no, after that, I'll be back, back ready to go. Brilliant. All the best, Dan. Thank you, mate.